Okay, JW, we're ready to cook. And yeah. I thought it would be good to structure a recipe that anybody can make at home. You know, something very simple, something very nutritious, and something very appropriate for guys with cancer or guys that want to protect their prostate. Because I know that we have uh, a high incidence of prostate cancer. It's a very right. common one. And um, we also know a little bit about how healthy it is for guys to have tomato products, particularly cooked tomato products, because the lycopene tomatoes, or yep, exactly. Tomatoes have a lot of lycopene, and when you cook the tomatoes, the little cells in the tomatoes burst, and even more lycopene is released. So that's a very cancer protective element, and we want to get more of that in our diet. So yes. here's a great, simple vegetable casserole that is designed with guys in mind. All Wonderful. right, are you Perfect. ready? Yeah. So simply, we're gonna take um, a warm skillet and I'm gonna spray it with a, just enough oil that we don't <laughs> burn our vegetables. And I'll start with some of the harder vegetables first. So I've got some zucchini here and um, we're just gonna get that in so that it gets a little bit of time to soften up before okay. we add in um, some other stuff. Now you notice I did start with some healthy oil, but I don't wanna add more to it because we talked a little bit about healthy fat and obesity and yeah. the fact that so many cancers are tied to obesity. So we wanna let the vegetables kinda get started. Oops, I confused it. We're gonna let the vegetables get started this way. And, and you were talking about fat and, and, and cancers. Uh, the, the fats and cancers, uh, you're talking about omega-3 fats too, just as much? Um, omega-3... Or just saturated fat? It's really more saturated fat that contributes to okay. uh, a higher incidence of cancer. Mm -hmm. um, there's been uh, studies that have shown mm, that the monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats are actually very healthy, helpful fats. Right. But um, a lot of people don't know when you're eating out particularly what kind of fat is the restaurant using? because a lot of restaurants use highly saturated fats. So right. you want to make sure that when you're cooking at home, you're cooking with either extra virgin olive oil, you're cooking with canola oil that you know is non-GMO, which is high in polyunsaturated fat. Um, a little bit of coconut oil is considered mm. very healthy. There's a lot of organic coconut oils out there right now. So um, I started with the zucchini, but now I've added some tomatoes because I want to get that tomato base. You know, mm, we know those, to smell good already. those tomato base dishes are so good. Mm. Yeah, and smell is so important. It really has to smell right. Otherwise, you don't want to eat it, right? Mm, right? I mean, it has to look pretty and smell right. So we're going to add in some color now with cauliflower and broccoli. These vegetables are very high in um, sulforaphanes, which are... Uh, uh, chemical that is contained in vegetables. Easy for you to say, yeah. sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> vegetables from the cruciferous family. Okay. They all have uh, this chemical um, in common and in and chemical properties in common. And these are very cancer protective. They're very high in antioxidants which combat the free radicals that mm -hmm. uh, attack our body's internal systems, disrupt us and um, become carcinogenic. Uh, some green peas. Now, uh, this is a vegetarian dish, so we want to be concerned about protein because we do want to have protein in our dish. Right. And of course, peas are part of the legume family and everything in the legume family has protein. So we add the peas in not just because, you know, they're colorful and they're pretty, but because they have a protein element and some carrots as well. Um, because I just love that panoply of color. And, and I can't help it because I'm an, I'm an interviewer at heart. Sure. So I've, I got a couple Ask questions. Ask me, yeah. Uh, first of all, have you heard, did, you've heard the talk now about antioxidants causing cancer? Have you have any word I, on that? I have not found anything in my research that I just heard this on the news just recently that only really? too many can cause cancer too. So I, I'll have no. to send, I'm going to have to send you, you send that. You send me I'll that send one because that. that I'm not familiar with. And the other with. thing is, I notice what I hear all the time is, Colors, mm -hmm. all the colors. Yes, you see right. You're putting every color in. Every there. color I can find. You know, the more color, usually the higher the vitamin and mineral content. Now, this isn't always true because you notice we put in cauliflower. That's white. It's not a whole lot of color, right. but cauliflower is loaded with calcium and loaded with vitamin C. Mm. So poor little cauliflower gets kind of left <laughs> out a lot because it doesn't have that deep, rich color. But yes, generally speaking, you want to eat from every color of the rainbow. 
and you uh -huh. want to put in your dish as many colors as possible. So mm. that's always a, a good indication. And now for seasoning, I'm gonna use one of my salt and sugar-free spice blends. This is our Mediterranean blend because this is kind of a Mediterranean style casserole. Mm -hmm. But you could use basil or oregano, whatever can, you know, um, herbs and spices you have in your cabinet that you love the most. I love the Mediterranean seasonings, and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and um, get some of that in there to get some flavor going. Mm. And then I'm also gonna add in, and this will surprise you maybe because um, it surprises some oh, people, yeah, uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna add in some uh, other mm. tomato, because again, we're trying for maximum lycopene here. Right. Um, ketchup. Now, wow. I know people think ketchup, high fructose corn syrup, bad, 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 condiment, bad, sugar, right. whatever. But you can actually find now very reasonably priced organic ketchup that is not sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. It has natural cane sugar in it, but it's lower sugar, lower salt, and of course, ah, it's pure too. tomato, right? So yeah, I'm on a low salt, low sugar. Right, and uh, so you want to be sensitive to that. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a really great product. You could use a little tomato paste instead of uh, a little bit of ketchup if you wanted. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like the, the idea that there are healthy ketchups out there. Right. And that it's a product, if you know what to look for, you can find it and still enjoy um, something as kind of old-fashioned and homey as, as ketchup. Now, if you were using tomato paste, you might want to adjust the seasonings a little bit because right. um, t uh, ketchup does bring more to it than just... Oh, it makes um, it more exciting because I, I, I used to love to put ketchup on everything. <laughs> <laughs> were you one of those kids? Yes. The ketchup on everything? Oh, yeah. And now, who cooks at home for you? Uh, me. Ah, Actually, I'm the cook you're in the, the house. cook yes. in the house. Well, this is an easy, easy, easy dish, and um, this has grown as you see. You mm -hmm. start with a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of what's in your refrigerator, and before you know it, you have a very full saucepan of um, absolute pure health here. And um, I love this idea because one of the biggest problems I have is, I, you know, when it. I go out to the store and I get all these vegetables and they all look really good uh -huh. and I put them in the fridge and I mean well, <laughs> but then you know, about three days later I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't cooked any of the carrots. I haven't right. cooked any of the peas. What am I gonna do? Right. There right. you go. This is what you do. And if you get to the end of the week and you have all of these vegetables and you still haven't made your casserole or um, used them up in a salad, mm -hmm. you make soup. Oh, yeah. That's another thing you can do, which is a very useful, creative way of doing all this. We're cooking it in a frying pan as though it was a vegetable casserole, mm -hmm. but we could have used a stock pot and made a, t a tomato-based soup mm. out of it, and it would have been, we would have called it mock minestrone instead of vegetable casserole. Mm. So there you go. There you it's go. that simple. That's good. Um, I also brought just a little bit of brown rice because... Again, we want this to be perceived of as a complete meal, so we want a complex carbohydrate with it other than um, just what's in our vegetables. So a little bit of cooked brown rice along with the peas. Now, follow me on this. When you combine a grain and a legume, okay. whole grain and legume in the same dish, whether it's in the same dish or the same meal period, a complete vegetarian protein is formed. Hmm. All the amino acids are present so you don't need meat. So by adding the grain of brown rice in with our peas, which was our legume, remember, mm -hmm. we've created a complete vegetarian protein in this dish. Wow. So good to know because saturated fat, of course, is found in foods of animal origin predominantly. So you want more plant-based meals in your diet. You don't want to sacrifice your protein. So it's good to know the rules about combining so that uh, you can make complete vegetarian proteins out of your meals. And it is just that easy. Well, you know, that's what I love talking about you. When, I, when we interviewed the first time, I had some really wrong information about, if you recall, because I, I listened to the interview <laughs> again today, I had wrong information about whole grains. Right. How we could take them out of our diet and it would be fine because of the paleo thing. Right, right. And you set me straight and, uh, and, and thank God because uh, it, it really, it really has rounded out my good. diet to, to add Great. some good whole grains. Yeah, you should have it. In fact, would you like to try this one? Ah, uh, yeah, the smell is amazing. Okay, <laughs> well, let's grab a plate. Okay. 
and I'll dish up something that's maybe not too big of a piece mm. so you can actually get to it. It's a little hot. And of course, if you have a little bit more time, you can let it cook and it'll just get softer and you know, you do it according to your taste. Tell Another thing on my bucket list. I've watched all the cooking shows and never been able to taste till now. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> hot? Mmm. It's all right? All right. It's so good. Oh, thank you. Mm. The ketchup really makes a big difference. Yeah, you know, it's just that mm. little bit, huh? I mean, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that you're not good. too busy to tell people how they can follow <laughs> you. Uh, everybody will want to, I know, to find uh, On Purpose, and, and they'll want to follow all the various things you're doing in that talk radio show that's coming out. It all sounds so exciting. Yeah, well, yeah. What's the thank best you. way for them to find you? Thank you so much, Jackie. Um, what we what uh, where you can do is go to www.onpurposemagazine.com. You can find me there on Facebook. Um, w, w, uh, actually, it's Facebook at JW Nigerian N A J A R I A N, and you can find me on uh, whether it be uh, LinkedIn or Twitter. All the same address. Twitter we have, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, On Purpose Mag, and my name at uh, Twitter. Just go to On Purpose Magazine. You'll find all of the links there. And watch for uh, Talk Summit coming up, talksummit.com. Great, great. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll come back and visit us again. Good luck oh, with your cancer treatment. You look like you're doing great. Oh, thank you. And, um, you know, keep up the good fight. Well, thank you. All thank right, you. JW. For more Food Exposed, check me out on empowerme.tv. And until next week, remember, make food your best friend and exercise your companion for life.